all right ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the golf ball and youtube page today we have a Ryder cup preview i'm sure by the time a lot of you guys actually watch this video day one might be over four balls the foursomes have been announced for friday morning and it goes like this sergio garcia and john rom versus jordan spieth and justin thomas followed by paul casey and victor hovland against dj and colin morikawa then you got Lee Westwood and Matthew Fitzpatrick versus Daniel Berger and Brooks Kepka. Finally, you have Rory McIlroy and Ian Poulter versus Patrick Cantley and Xander Shoffley. So this kind of goes back to the original statement that I've made on this channel before is made it on the podcast, which you can listen to, link in bio, by the way. But it, Team USA on paper, I mean, they should win this on paper. You look at these matchups tomorrow, I especially, I'd pinpoint this matchup right here, Dustin Johnson and Colin Morikawa. If you really think about it, on paper, you have Dustin Johnson, who has crazy length, one of the best hit long ball hitters on tour, followed by Colin Morikawa, who actually might be the best ball striker on tour at this moment. So you look at a matchup like that at a course like Whistling Straits, where DJ bombs it off the tee. Colin Morikawa puts it close. DJ makes the putt. And they're paired up against Paul Casey and Victor Hovland, who just, as far as name brand goes, name appeal goes, unless you follow the European tour, you follow European golf, you might view Victor Hovland and Paul Casey as like, oh, they're not going to win anything. They're two of the best golfers on Europe's team at the moment. So... On paper, I, I mean, Justin Thomas and Jordan Spieth, like, no matter who they play, just on paper, they're going to win. Especially that pairing of Spieth and Thomas. They've been childhood friends. They have a phenomenal Ryder Cup record. You look at that, and it's like, all right, they should win that. DJ and Kyle Morikawa should win that. Daniel Berger and Brooks Kepka, those are two phenomenal golfers. Patrick Cantley, Xander Shoffley. You have the player of the year paired up with the gold medal winner at the Olympics. And it's just like, we were debating this on the podcast earlier. It's just like, man, you look at it on paper and it's like, wow, USA looks really good. Alternate shot is what it's going to begin with in the morning. There aren't any afternoon tea times available yet. Once that happens, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to make a video on it. Um, I'm also going to be reacting doing daily podcasts at the end of the night for just kind of recaps if you guys want to tune into the golf balling podcast but my initial predictions or my final predictions i should say i got europe winning i think they're only going to win by about three or four but if europe can get a win out of let's say lee westwood and matthew fitzpatrick against daniel berger brooks kepka paul casey victor hovland even if those are halves as you can't you can't win the Ryder Cup in the first two days, but you can definitely lose it. And that's what we kind of saw with Team USA uh, three years ago when the last Ryder Cup was played. They just kind of lost it in the first couple of days. They weren't playing too good. If you can keep it close until Sunday, everyone has a chance. Sunday is really where it matters. That's really where you can win the golf or I was going to say golf turn. That's really where you can win the Ryder Cup. So looking at it tomorrow... I see a lot of positives for Team USA. However, I'm still going to go with Team Europe. However, tomorrow's matchups, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to give my prediction. I think Europe wins 2-1-1 one, and one tomorrow. I think they'll lose. I think Sergio and John Rahm will lose to Jordan Spieth and Justin Thomas. I think Paul Casey and Victor Hovland will tie it up with, I think they'll have it with DJ and Morikawa. Same thing goes with Lee Westwood and Fitzpatrick. I think they'll tie with Berger and Brooks Kepka. But then I think Roy McIlroy and Ian Poulter, who are two really good Ryder Cup players, I think that they'll get the job done against the rookies, Patrick Cantley and Xander Shoffley. So I'd love to hear your guys' opinions and predictions on tomorrow down below in the comments. Hit the like button, hit the sub button. Peace.